Hi guys, my name is Albert Tan. Welcome to this uh, Facebook Live or webinar session again. And tonight we have uh, what they call the co-founder of this uh, Rick Element uh, from Bangladesh, and he's none other than Azu, uh, Azadu Zaman Abil. Okay, sorry, quite difficult for me to pronounce the name. Uh, Abil, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Albert? Yes, yes, I'm good. You know. So before we actually start, uh, let me do some housekeeping uh, to get our audience to give permission to this uh, live streaming app uh, to show their name and a photo. Okay. So guys, uh, if you can see us and uh, what they call uh, hear us, can you please uh, tap your name? Uh, maybe just click the link of this melonapp.com uh, Facebook. Then you would actually you know see that you know. Uh, we are actually giving you permission. I mean, you are giving permission for this uh, Melon app to show your name and also profile photo. Okay, I see the first guy here, Ramvi Meta. How are you, Ramvi? So I think we have already have seven person. So guys, uh, please do yourself a favor and help everybody so that we can see your name at the back end. And this is important because uh, our giveaway will be based on the name that we see from the back end. <laughs> so I think everybody will be excited you know to get a uh, uh, what i call uh, giveaway prize at the end of this session so without further ado uh guys i think you guys have actually uh know the drill and let me ask what i call abil some question okay abil are you ready yes i'm ready okay so tell us uh what is your company you know that actually developed this uh, rig elements uh for this uh, element tour and how big is your team Okay, so first of all, about uh, myself, that uh, as Albert already uh, announced my name, that my name is Asadu Jaman Abir and I'm from Bangladesh. So, <clears throat> last five to seven years, I am working on WordPress web development and website development services and uh, web development industry in whole, uh, not only web development, I have related on similar software development working. So, my plan that uh, to build a company in future well, my plan was actually on that time in 2012 and 13 then uh, i have thought that uh, as we have working on the different type of services so why actually we don't build products so thinking of this we have launched our company first then we have served some clients uh, a lot of clients we have already served before and currently serving and now we are serving we uh, and after that time in after 2018 we are th thinking that if we build some products that will be helpful for our user that we have faced uh, what we have developed uh, what we have actually working on our clients that if we release that product and release that services for our own users or our own uh our, our, our the own uh community that it will be helpful for all of the wordpress members so on that time we have founded codember incorporated if you go to the website codember.com you will find a detail about us and alongside we have already founded uh, also founded themespell.com so a lot of people and a lot of uh, users may be uh, known our about our products like local press wordpress theme and dino shop wordpress theme it is it was a very popular uh wordpress uh, theme we have launched before in 2009 uh, 2020 uh, 2020 and it's still running uh, very good and then we have think that as we have working on the wordpress themes why we actually don't release a wordpress plugin especially that we are regularly working on uh elementor based products <clears throat> Currently, we have started working on Gutenberg also, so yeah, this is not our current point now. And then we have thought that if we build the Elementor plugin, that uh, will helpful for user to avoid a lot of plugin installation, a lot of Elementor add-on installation. That is a one of plugin and one add-on pack that help users uh, help users to build their own website, Elementor-based website. Uh, in, in a very short time and even all of the features come in a single plugin. So that's in the thought we have built rig elements. So uh, we have already eight team members in our uh, in our team and there are some freelance members also. So around uh, there are some 15 members is currently in working in our team. Uh, so that's actually about, uh, uh, about myself and my company and that's actually the history uh, which can be uh, that actually the co founding uh, story of 
uh, code number incorporated. Albert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for your what they call a very elaborate introduction, you know. Yeah, but before I haven't uh, spoken to you, I know that uh, your company actually uh, quite an established one, and you have many what they call product, you know, you know. Yeah. Uh, until actually I spoken to you, then you have a local press, the kind of uh, products, you know. Yeah, so yeah. guys, uh, please uh, be informed that you know this is not a fly by night company, <laughs> <laughs> and we also have a lot of uh, what they call uh, audience from Bangladesh. You know, I saw of them, some of them, you know, like Ruhani Rabin. Rani Rabin worked in Malaysia, but he's from Bangladesh. You know, like uh, David, uh, what they call DK Tamil, you know, DK Tamil is also from Bangladesh, if I'm not wrong. And Sharif, I think, also from Bangladesh. I'm not sure, you know, but uh, doesn't matter. So, uh, Abil, so the audience has known you. So, let's go to the back end and introduce your what they call read elements, you know, how to use it effectively, you know, and save time by using your uh, add-on. Okay, so I'm going to sharing my screen and I am going to build a page, build a uh, very simple website from raw to uh, complete uh, in a short time using rig elements. Okay, so I'm going to sharing my screen now. Okay, that's good. I will show it. So hopefully my screen has shared. Is it, Albert? Yes, okay. it's shown. It's already okay. shown. Okay, that's great. So first of all, uh, uh, in uh, in short, I just want to show that rig elements running page that's available in codemba.com slash rig elements for elementors. So in, in here, you will find all the details about rig elements that we have built and we are currently and we are coming uh, on uh, our, our products. If you click on what's new, you will find all the details in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe my internet some slightly slow that's why it's not loaded properly okay yeah, it will be loaded and you will be find all of the feature requests and all of the upcoming features in here so first I am going to introduce that what feature does it actually have and what we can do uh, using rig elements and then I will uh, show you that how actually we can implement the, the, uh, that one so First of all, Rig Elements comes with a complete solution for Elementor users, like it comes with widgets, it comes with templates, and it comes with blocks, and also some template builders, and so on. So uh, just a note that, that uh, the templates, uh, ready-made templates is currently hold on for some development, but it will be available in next month, hopefully in the mid, uh, in the mid of the August, and about uh, around 20 to 25th August, it will be available on the templates. So currently it's currently hold on, but it will be available. So <clears throat> if you go to the feature, uh, I have seen that uh, one of user ask uh, uh, that what actually the USP of the rig elements because there is a lot of Elementor add-ons available in the market. So what actually is different than rig elements and others? So first of all, rig elements comes with performance. Uh, in the in a basic sense, it comes with performance because we have uh, we have uh, built rig elements in a very limited amount of code and uh, uh, the latest technology that available in the web like Tailwind CSS, React JS and also it's supported on php 8.0 version i think developer will understand these uh, terms so come to the users so it comes with 35 advanced add-ons for elementor so advanced add-ons means in a, a single add-on has a lot of functionalities in other elementor add-ons uh, there need to be uh, if we want to achieve a functionality we need to use two to three or four elements but in our elements that means the rig elements has comes with complete that's a single element comes with a multiple function so i will describe in later and it will also have theme builder solution like elementor pro like if you're using elementor pro you can be use header builder photo builder or even single post and page builder or even WooCommerce builder specifically. So there are no other Elementor uh, add-ons available this kind of features in a single template, a single add-on pack. So Rig Elements comes with all of those template building solution, it means theme building solution in, uh, in including this one. So uh, and there is a lot of uh, advanced element and a lot of new element like if we if we working on the Luti animation, if we want to add Imgur or if we want to add Flickr, anime, uh, Flickr uh, embedding section, we can easily use. There is a product filter add-on available in here. So if we want to add the product filter using the WooCommerce, we can also implement this one. So this type of features actually not available. As my, uh, as I know that this type of feature actually not available in other Elementor add-ons or even directly in Elementor Pro. We need to uh, do custom code or we need to do use a third-party plugin uh, and 
you know, lo loading them using short codes. So rig elements have these things, which is generally a need in everyday use, not the fancy. We actually not working on the fancier uh, one. Uh, some of the few people has asked uh, me that why actually uh, rig elements are not so fancy. Uh, so I answered them uh, uh, regularly that actually fanciness is not our uh, is not our plan. Uh, we actually working on the uh, productivity. So that's why rig elements working on the productive add-ons that you need to use in your regular website building or regular e-commerce building solutions. Okay. So also we have already come with WooCommerce embedding and WooCommerce uh, implementing uh, issues. And on one of the best things that uh, it has comes with the built-in header and footer script injector. So if you, you want to, if anyone want to implement uh, like Google Analytics code or Facebook pixel code in this, his website. So he or she don't need to uh, use any kind of third party plugin or no, don't need to use any uh, uh hard code so regal events as a function you can just place the code in here and it will boom so that's actually the uh, another uh major things and also it's truly responsive that means that it's not actually dependent the responsive on elementor options the each and every element you can customize in different different ways on uh, uh on uh, on the uh, different different ways to responsive your website like if you if you want to show products in your uh, products in your uh, website, it could be four columns in desktop, and you can make it two columns in mobile or three columns into tab version. So that's the way. Actually, there is no other elements as I know that don't don't have this kind of features. So that's actually uh, uh, the uh, the core features and uh, things I have explained. So let's see that how actually we can implement these things in our website. So I have installed a uh, fresh installation, WordPress installation in our uh, in my local PC. You can also do in your server. So it will all uh, working full of uh, working on any kind of web server. You can install it and also support a latest PHP 8.0 version. So if anyone using uh, want to use PHP 8.0 in their website, so it will be run perfectly. So I'm going to install a theme first because theme is the main part to build any uh, website to load actually uh, Elementor. So I'm going to use the Hello Elementor because this is the, uh, it's one of my favorite and it's also the most preferable theme to build uh, any Elementor uh, based website. And so clean. So uh, Hello Elementor I have activated. Now I am going to install the Elementor plugin first. Okay. Elementor. So it's installing it will take a couple of minutes hopefully okay so it installed it successfully and okay so i'm going to skip these things because we don't need this one also <coughs> okay so now i am going to install the rig elements plugin so I'm going to upload this plugin in here. We get events. So currently the 1.8 version is running. And if you uh, have installed rig elements in your website, the, all of the future updates will work perfectly. That means the automatic update will work without any issue. You can automatically update the plugin differently from your WordPress dashboard. And it's available from 1.8 version. So I'm just uh, want, uh, want to give a note for uh, current rig elements user, those who have installed 1.5 or 1.0 version in their website, please upgrade it to your 1.8 version and the latest uh support latest elementor support will be available in the latest version okay so i have installed it the elementor and rig elements plugin in our website so we have find the rig elements uh, menu in here so first of all let's see uh, i have uh, made a simple design in figma so you can use any kind of you can use psd or even adobe xd or anything you can on so i am preferable in figma so i am going to build a header a simple header like this and a page like this and i'm going to build a footer in like this and uh, we are going to taking payments from Gumroad uh, using uh, a Gumroad payment button and we are going to using a Loti animation like this. I have just installed a uh, uh, place, placed a sample image from here, but the Loti animation will be like this. 
so this animation will be in in we'll use in our design and also we will build a single blog post demo for understanding that the, we can uh, we can override the blog post design or other things so let's move first of all if we go to our current website that it will be simply blank and the header and the footer is totally blank nothing in here so we are going to implement our header and footer in here so i am going to go uh, reg elements from templates and i am going to add a new templates in here and like i need to make its header header template type it will be header and i am going to click in publish so it has published already so if we go to our website now and we will find our header has removed because this header has overridden from using reg elements now we are edit it using our elementor page builder okay fine so uh, basically our builder has loaded and we just click on quick and our design like similarly here is a logo and a simple button in here so i'm going to place these things on here uh, i'm going to i'm going in faster and going to add two columns in here okay so uh, I have added four columns and I am going to add uh, it's a background a background is color white and the logo color and button color is blue so I am going to add logo in here first so first of all I'm going to make the background white for better understand okay now I'm making it 10% and this also making it 10% for better view now i'm going to add the site logo elements in here so rig elements already have a site logo elements so you can easily implement these things in here okay it has rolled so we can use the logo source on wordpress default uh, if we uploaded our wordpress logo from uh, here we can use it or we can use a custom solution is here so i am just placing the custom and i can choose the custom image in here so i'm going to upload the file and i'm going to show the logo in here okay so our logo has uploaded okay i am going to just adjust it quickly okay and there is a button every on there okay. there was a button so it was requested a quote so i am going to add a new button in here button and we're going to add this in here okay we're just making it medium i'm going in faster because we don't have a lot of time sorry okay and i am going to take the color from here and here is the background color and we can use the request okay. Okay okay so it's done the button has created successfully so now i am going to add some padding in up and bottom so top i have given 10 pixel uh 15 pixel and bottom in 15 pixel so i have already implemented our header in here so i'm going to update these things now let's see that is our header is loaded or not so i'm going to go on our website and it will loaded our header successfully so rig elements has overridden our website so if we go to a single post we will find that the single post also have loaded our header successfully so that's the way we can actually override our header so now i am going to add a new page and implemented this design also that how actually we can implement these things okay fine so going to background first and going to add a new page we can make it home page okay and we can make it element to full wide and we can publish okay so going to edit to elementor so our header has already loaded in here we are going to add these things in here okay i am making it full width okay and adding a new inner section in here and the background color was uh we are placing the background color in here oops oh sorry the header has done so i am placing the background color background type color okay we have placed now we are going to add the text in here 
text in here so we are going to add the heading elements okay and hopefully the typography is poppins and bold and it's 60 pixels so we are just changing the typography and uh, coder and okay and it's white and the typography is poppins and 60 pixel okay it will be too large 45 we just add just a line height in here okay and transform it to uppercase capital is sorry okay so title has made and similarly we can add a description and a button in here so i am going to replace this button using the wig elements convert payment button so let's see how actually it's work i'm going to add the look to animation in here okay so uh, first of all i'm going to add the description so description is super simple nothing special in here and going to pop ins it will be can be the 16 or 18 pixel and we can adjust the line height so it's done now let's add the look the animation in here so we if we go to scroll we will find the look the animation uh load the animation element for from rig element so i'm going to drag this one so it's does load the default load the animation in here we are going to replace these things with our this element so first of all in load the files i have already uh using load the files because it will be the i think it can be the better solution for going to free load the animation so i'm going to log in in here because it's important to get a uh url to get the load the animation link okay so again we need to load the okay so we have loaded and here is a load animation url we can copy from here and we can paste it the animation url and it will load okay so our load animation has loaded successfully super simple okay so we can add some padding in here and we can add uh, like 50 50 pixel padding top and 50 pixel bottom okay now 50 make 70 or 80. 80 okay okay so our header uh, our hero section and uh, the description load the animation has added successfully now uh, we are going to add a payment button from in here to get the payment using gumroad so there is a gumroad payment button available in here if we go to scroll we will find the gumroad payment button just simply drag and drop the button and we will find the buy on gumroad button in here so we can easily place our product link from gumroad and we can place the product link in here and if anyone click in here you, you will directly can payment gumroad using rig elements so it's i think it could be a uh, very helpful for digital product seller those who actually want to sell or even some lead generator uh, regularly sell other uh, they were uh, regularly grab leads by selling products or uh, 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 or say sharing free files from gumroad so that's the way actually we can use uh, rig elements in building website uh, building this kind of elements so we have already made this section i am going to fast forward this thing uh, i'm going to do our second section so there is a card section available so as we know that card uh, the card section is not uh, very easily to build in elementor because we need to use in our sections but rig elements comes with this solution handy solution that there is an advanced card elements that we can easily customize from raw to complete solution so let's see that how actually it works so we are going to just add uh, a section first like before we are adding some padding okay uh, so zero and padding would be like 50 pixel top and 50 pixel bottom okay so now we are adding our text okay it could be a heading okay, paste we can make it black it's white here and the text we have copied from here and we can place the heading okay it could be center the heading size 45 you can make it 25 okay and we can adjust the line height 
and we can just adding uh, okay we are just duplicating this we are just copying this description here for faster okay uh, we can set some padding from left and right 50 or 150 okay and you can make it center element. okay done now what we are going to add the card element so basically for adding card elements we can use the add fast card element in here so here is have added the card element in here but we need to add three cards so we need to add the inner section first and we can add three columns in here and we just simply move it to our inner section so first card second card sorry second card and third card in here so that's done now we are just placing the image here is the, if we go to the card elements uh, design we will find we can show and hide images so we can choose images from here here is the image we can choose okay we can adjust the image size image wide or height we can easily implement this thing okay we can make it contain or cover or anything we can we want okay we can add some padding like 10 pixel padding or top and we can add the card title we can center the card title we can center the card description and hopefully uh, there is a padding in here so we can easily change the container padding from here like we can add 50 percent padding uh, 30 percent padding okay so simple and we can change the line height or description in uh, here so that's the way we can actually add the card element using real element so we can just copy these things okay just copy paste paste okay so it's super simple to build a card elements and the card section using real elements and i think that uh, no other elements has uh this kind of feature even in elementor pro not have this kind of features because we need to build inner section or something more uh, to be uh, achieve this kind of designs so if we click on update if we go to the design we will find that our design has working successfully okay so here was our page that we have built before so here is the page so our page has building successfully in here okay so last week uh, we are designing a single blog post because it's a short time very short time in here and here is the blog post design we're just working on the blog post in here so first of all if we go to rig elements simply and go to the templates we can add new templates so just just for a quick intro that we can add any kind of template like header footer single post single page search you come shop single product single product archive product tag and this kind of templates we can in future in the future version you can easily uh, build elements uh, things uh, that an element elements templates or even edd templates and so on things using rig elements okay so i am going to add a single post template and we are just going to name it single single post post and we are going to make it publish before that we are going to add the post on here, here so there is a simple post we are going to add new post in here so we are going to and this post so this is the post title and this is the post description this is the post description so rig elements fully compatible with latest gutenberg so we don't need to worry about about that the gutenberg content will work fine or not it's fine it's fully working with gutenberg okay now i am going to the template again so our template was single post and we are going to edit with edit with elementor okay so here is our post so there's the design that the title is on the blue background and there is a description so i'm just going to add the title in here okay so uh okay so the color code i need to pick the color code because i have forgot the color code in here okay so i am just placing the background okay now i am just adding the post title so if we go to scroll down we will find rig element single add-on in here so if we scroll 
put down the post title in here it will load our post title in here dynamically okay so we, it shows us to get the preview please specific post from the preview tab fine we will do that first of all we just do, uh, adding our styles in here like pop-ins or typography and maybe it was uh, 25 pixel 25 pixel it will be better we can adjust the line height in here okay now we are going to add go to the content if you go to the preview section we can select the post and here is our post has loaded post title has loaded successfully okay we are just going to add some padding in here like 80 pixel top and 80 pixel bottom done this is the post uh, title has loaded uh, reloaded again don't, don't worry about that because it will be work perfectly on the live version now we are just going to add the description or the post uh, post content actually so we are going to add a padding on 50 pixel and bottom 50 pixel now we are going to add the post description or post content so post content we can easily add in here we can make it left alignment we can preview so here is the post content has loaded we can just simply we can adjust the line height because there was an issue on line height okay now we are going to make it update for the view now if we go to our website first of all here was our website like previous so now i'm going to see the post you go to post all post and if we go to view this post we will find that our post view has replaced successfully if we go to another post like this this was the previous post that we didn't have made it before so if we go to it it will find us similarly our post has loaded in the best the template we have made currently like elementor pro or like any other uh, builder and uh, like theme builder it's actually like the theme builder so we can change any kind of themes uh, building uh, theme building solution using league elements and last but another thing there is uh, some additional element available like hook for woocommerce but it currently showing down showing uh, showing in here if we install woocommerce elements uh, woocommerce now uh, let's just i'm going to uh, giving an idea that how actually it will be look if we use woocommerce i'm going to add woocommerce i'm going to do commerce and i'm installing it because i made the life <laughs> so much bigger because uh, there is a lot of feature actually in regal emails but uh, it will take time to explain all of the features in a single webinar i think uh, we need to do a multiple webinar for regal events because we are explaining newest features and most advanced features so after installing a uh, woocommerce uh, we need to activate it first okay so i have activated and i'm just skip this setup wizard in here now let's just move to our page just check that that the woocommerce add-on has available or not okay uh, it will take a couple of time to load maybe our my internet connection has uh stuck here okay uh okay so it has loaded and if we go to scroll down we will find the woocommerce and like advanced products product filter advanced product category product tag, woocommerce card checkout and so on and the here is the all woocommerce like product title product archive title and all of the things that we regularly need to build a new commerce website using elementor if we want to build a checkout or cart page like simply we want to build a cart page like this is our cart page this is our current cart page from coming from woocommerce it has currently broken uh, that means sorry broke not broken it's hurt style uh, styled yet or if you go to the checkout page we will find it's simply no uh, style in here now let's see that how actually we can override using woocommerce so i'm going to edit there's a short code placed on the woocommerce we just remove the short code and click on the update we're just making it elementor full white and editing it elementor okay so our checkout will be loaded uh okay so this page has some issues so we need to we can add another page for better understand okay so these pages as uh, we have added we can easily replace using the checkout page from here so if we scroll down that we can find the woocommerce checkout and if we move it the woocommerce checkout will be loaded 
maybe I have implemented this one. Uh, I think my internet connection using this feature uh, using these issues because uh, it's not loaded in here. Okay, uh, there is a, a video we, we have I have already made for how to be WooCommerce checkout page. If we go to code ember in slash documents like uh, our documents code ember dot help you will find that how actually you can easily add the rig elements checkout page or discount badge or even twitter feed all of the things i have already explained in here so it will be super simple for anyone to build this type of uh, to achieve this type of uh, template building using rig elements okay so that's actually from my side uh, i'm going to going through to albert albert Hi, yeah, I'm here. So I was just concentrating on on your what you call uh, rig elements and also looking at the question that people ask. <laughs> okay. okay, that's uh, quite a good uh, fast uh, demonstration. And I believe you are the the man who actually uh, code this, you know. So you know very well about this uh, what I call the back end of your uh, rig elements. So I think we should. Uh, go into the question before we go into the giveaway uh, contest. Yeah. So before we actually uh, go to the question by the audience, uh, I would like to ask a few questions from my side, you know? Yeah. Okay. Elementor has always been what they call, uh, people call it a, a blotted kind of a WordPress, you know, a monster, you know? So that's why every time a new add-on is uh, on the market, people will ask, would it affect the speed? You know the performance you know speed optimization can you elaborate you know see whether you know uh i mean whether your what you call this uh, add-on will actually affect the speed you know well definitely not because uh, we have built these uh, things uh we have built rig elements to make uh the best performance uh for users because uh, it actually won't affect the page speed anymore we have minimized the code and we have already make it so much optimized to build a website perfectly. Uh, we will, uh, we we have planned to share a uh, video explanation or even a content explanation. We have actually making these things to better understand that why actually rig elements uh, don't affect performance. So I think users need to should wait some uh, some days to uh, release the guide. We have we will release a guide that the performance update from rig elements that it won't affect users website anymore uh using uh, using like any other third party element pack mm -hmm. okay that that will be uh, fantastic you know so that's why you know a lot of people ask me you know i say i mean for me i'm not an expert yeah. no i say you try it out yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, have also, I have also <laughs> faced this question a lot of time it's very simple mm -hmm. okay yeah uh rohani asked this question anyone did a full speed test on elementor with rig elements you know uh maybe not and uh, nobody have they haven't tested yet before we have tested in our uh, internally but we didn't release uh the result because it need to uh, that i have explained it before that we need to release the, the guide then user will be easily understand but okay. nobody i think isn't uh, they didn't but that i don't know that anyone has tested the speed or not i actually don't have idea <laughs> okay that, that's fair enough so don't worry uh rohani uh we wait for the guide and see how you know so we still have a lot of time okay that's good uh let me scroll to the question and uh, we start answering that you know after that we will go to the uh, giveaway so before we we go to the question i have another we have to repeat the question you know please go to the your what they call uh, this link you know let me check the link first you have to click the link so that we can see your name you know or else uh it's difficult for us to to know who is actually answering a uh, question or posting question you know so this is the link melonapp.com slash facebook you might also need to refresh your browser or maybe restart your facebook uh, browser to take effect you know so hopefully everybody will do that and then uh we should continue now okay i have to scroll up because today a lot of people you know about 40 people right online okay this is a 
not very uh, what they call a technical question. Larry Tan asks, why is it called Rick? <laughs> uh, actually, the name is not uh, placed by me. It actually from my partner, so he could be <laughs> better understanding. I actually didn't uh, ask him that why actually he named it Rick Elements. But actually, it's a very catchy name, you know, Rick Elements, and you know? yeah, also yeah. it's nice to hear, you know. So no worry, you know, it doesn't affect your performance. <laughs> Okay, let's move to the next question. <coughs> okay, this is a general question. Larry Tan say, why another multiple widget plugin in the crowded world of Elementor? You know, what is Trick's uh, unique selling proposition? Okay, you know? so maybe you just uh, repeat yeah. that. You know, because yeah, yeah, people just came in, you know? mm. So actually, uh, we have already uh, answered this before. Uh, but uh, the most AF selling point that uh, it has template builder, it has a header footer injector, it has uh, the advanced uh, elements that uh, don't have any other element pack and element uh, third party element add ons. So you are getting almost a, uh, almost 70% uh, features that already has Elementor Pro. And if you compare the price, you will find the Elementor Pro price and Rig Elements price. So that would be a bit uh, very, uh, uh, very uh, which, which kind of cheaper than Elementor Pro, first of all. And any other Elementor add on doesn't allow you to uh, inject, uh, uh, allow to all the features in a single Elementor uh, element pack. I have already explained in that uh, in the first of the webinar. So if we just go to the from go to the first and you can view the webinar from the first you will get all the details i think again better than i am explaining now <laughs> yeah yeah i understand but i mean just a summary of that okay this is the basic question you know uh, does it require elementor pro no definitely not yeah definitely so not. a free elementor uh, version will do right okay yeah. that's good <laughs> I mean, you don't have to spend money to, to buy Elementor Pro again. Yeah. <laughs> That's important, you know, another few more bucks, uh, you add up. Okay, let's move to the next question. Okay, Azim Shaikh asked this, can we design WooCommerce archive and a product single page? Yeah, definitely. I think have shown that, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We have already shown that and there is a documentation available so he can, uh, he can build a WooCommerce single product page or even a commerce product archive page, search result page using regal events mm -hmm. okay let's move uh, i have to scroll down <coughs> because there are so many questions okay i'm not sure whether you have shown this or no uh, can i create sticky or transparent header okay so regal elements currently don't have these features like this sticky or transparent so uh, feature transparent header feature or any other transparent element feature but uh you, you he just given us a good idea and uh, you can ask a feature request section uh, i am going to add the feature request link in the comment box then user can easily ask new features and we will implement it gradually mm -hmm. yeah i i personally think that some people like uh dark background so they they need yeah. they need uh, this kind of feature and also some people like the sticky <laughs> sticky kind yeah. of thing you know so yeah yeah definitely Okay, next, uh, next, next question. Let me scroll down. Oh, here come the TikTok. TikTok. Can I embed TikTok shop using element, uh, rig elements, or just embed video from TikTok? Uh, currently, it's available for the embed videos, but uh, we can add the TikTok shop using rig elements. So please, uh, better that you can ask the features in our feature request section. And we, we will count down, uh, we will add very soon these features, but I also like these features. It's super important for TikTok users, but we actually didn't think about these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, TikTok is getting very popular now, I know, even in US. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, Albert, I want to actually share the uh, uh, feature request link. So when, what, in where I want to share this? Uh, you can actually, because if you type it in the chat, it, it can't be shown in this uh, Facebook group because of privacy issue. So maybe I can, you... I can give you in the messenger, I think. It will be better. Yeah, you, you can give it in the... You can type in the private, uh, what do you call, private, private chat to me. Then I copy and then I, okay. I type in the Facebook so group. Private chat. 
Yeah. Yeah, I have sent the private chat. Okay, let's let, let me see whether I can get that. Yeah, okay. Copy. Well, I have difficulty to, to paste it in my Facebook group. That that is the issue, you know. No, I can't do it also. I can't do it. No, my uh okay uh the guy, facebook messenger no i i can i can get your link but only thing that i cannot paste it in the facebook chat i don't know okay this so is, i will share it after the live that will yeah, be good. that will be do okay so let me move on to the question this question is from chaitanya i'm using gutenberg that's why i'm unable to utilize the tools based on element talk Oh. So, what what is your question? You know, Chaitanya. I think maybe it's not a question, but uh, it could be a good idea for rig elements. Yeah, we have already planned rig elements for rig elements, not the rig blocks for Gutenberg. Yeah. So you can use rig elements on that time mm -hmm. using the Gutenberg base builder. Okay, we have one uh, viewer from this uh, YouTube. You know, a site. Yeah. So us, you know, uh, can we execute at once query like bestseller of the month with at once product? Uh, it's not kind, but it's not really super in deep in bestseller of the month. But you can short products like bestseller products or even highest product, top rated products, sale products, and latest product. You can uh, 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 you can short with these things, but not in month or day base. It's not possible now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for the question and also your answer. Yeah. Let me check. <coughs> okay, guys, uh, you still have any question that we have not answered, please uh, write it down because I might have missed the question, no, because of the scrolling. Okay, Azim said. I'm planning to move to Gutenberg because of performance issue in Elementor. Uh, yes, uh, the, obviously Gutenberg is much better performance uh, than Elementor, but Elementor has allowed you to most advanced work or advanced design system. Gutenberg is still incomplete. So we need to wait actually for Gutenberg to, to be mature. Gutenberg is still the full site editor is still in beta version. Even we are releasing a new theme uh, and we are facing issues while using Gutenberg that Elementor has given us a lot of extendability and a lot of features and a lot of uh, customization. Gutenberg still not uh, so much game changer, I think, for mm. especially for freelance developer or lower end developers. It may be for uh, higher end developers who are actually allowed to code uh, hard coded and so much. Okay, uh, so, uh, Abel, yes. so side question, you know. Are your company, you know, going into Gutenberg, you know, eventually? I mean, just a side question, you know. Uh, can you please repeat it again? Just last miss okay. the last line. A lot of people now is actually into Gutenberg. So are you going to into Gutenberg development as well, you know, to make it big? Uh, yes, we are actually working on the Gutenberg builders and we are coming on the new Gutenberg theme. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a very secret project. <laughs> I, I had don't have to uh, release in publicly, but it's coming soon. We are working on Gutenberg Gutenberg products, and it will be releasing very soon in market. Very soon means when? Next month or three months uh, later? Within this year. Within hopefully this year. The Black Friday. Hopefully before the Black Friday. Okay, I think you will do it in Black Friday. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> there is the money, money. We have already built the core part. version. Already, our core has built successfully. But there, the design version is also also in in the progress now. But we are working hard on the Gutenberg edition, so it could be very better, I think, for Gutenberg users. Okay, guys, no, you know what to do. Save some money in uh, Black Friday because you're going to bleed a lot of money, including yeah. this one. <laughs> Okay, uh, Sujit Vespas was saying that you know, uh, how much rig element will put on the burden element? Or please share a page that you built so that we can check the performance. Can you? Uh, yes, currently I'm actually not uh, remember this page that 
some of the pages that we have already built some of means that a lot of pages we have built but uh, better than you can use our uh, use our you can check our theme dino shop dino shop wordpress theme yes uh, we, it has completely built on rig elements and elementor just these two plugin we have used to build this theme so you can check the performance and i think you will be uh, uh, you will be convinced just go to search and work uh, in google dino shop wordpress theme or theme spell slash dino shop wordpress theme and you will find uh, the our theme in here and you will check the performance mm -hmm. okay thank you let me see whether we are having any other question okay I don't understand this question, uh, Bill. Up. You say, I wish we could just paste the URL somewhere and get a copy directly. Will this be possible? I wish we could just paste the URL somewhere and get. I actually don't understand the question. That what actually the meaning? Uh, Bill, can you just uh, refresh your question and also that we can answer it properly? Okay, build us okay, another maybe question. He, he, maybe he asked, uh, maybe the live copy feature. I think they ask, he asking about live copy feature. So if live copy feature, if ask, it's currently not available in real elements. Okay, is there the complete template we can use directly to gain time? Uh, yes, the complete template actually we have already built, but it's currently hold down due to real elements 2.0. We are just working on uh, the new template builder that we can easily import templates like uh, header template, footer template, or any, any other templates. Just wait a couple of weeks. Hopefully, the end of the August or the mid of the August, it will be released, and you can easily. Uh, it will also very. Uh, uh, it will be. Uh, it will be reduce your time, and you can easily import templates like you have done with Elementor Pro. You will done these things also just please wait for the template builder coming in uh, in august so when you say template builder means what uh, uh, so, uh, sorry template importer sorry sorry it was a mistake template importer mm -hmm, okay okay macam putih was very concerned you know when you introduce gutenberg feature would it be included in the lifetime deal if they buy now uh, no, Gutenberg feature will be not coming with this version or this LTD, which will be <laughs> releasing uh, separately, not coming okay. with this one. So, sorry guys, you know, so, I mean, everything costs money. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the question that you know uh copy a website then i would like to implement directly the code in read and then make changes oh this is what he mean uh the demo copy of your website i would like to implement directly the code uh, in rig and then make changes uh slightly complex uh, you can uh, you can knock us in your live chat i can i will help you uh, as detailed as you want actually i actually don't understand your question properly so better or live chat in uh, it would be the best solution for you mm -hmm. okay that's good okay so just the uh, just a comment from ruhani ruhani is very concerned about speed you know so you just want to inform this you know okay. you have a full site done a full site done or you can check our dino shop court testing yeah, I've already is. explained. So, Dynashop WordPress team already made on Rig Elements latest version. So, you can check speed, performance, and everything if you want. And all the features are is implemented on that theme. Mm -hmm. A full theme based on Rig Elements. Full, complete theme based on Rig Elements. Okay. Okay. This question is by Anush Kale. So, actually, the theme site, as you mentioned, but just, just, just tell again, you know. Yeah. Uh, the team size is uh, currently eight members in our team and there is also freelance members so total in 15 on average and location in Bangladesh Dhaka Bangladesh <laughs> okay thank you yeah. okay guys uh, you, you still have any question you want to ask you must ask uh, please come and uh, write it down and we will try to answer that if not I will prepare to 
to do the draw now. Uh, okay. Abir, can you just uh, stop sharing your screen? Uh, yeah, I have shared. The, have the, the bottom here, there, there's a stop sharing, you know, at the... Yes, I have shared, a stop shared already. You stop share, but it still appear. Okay, now, okay, let me, or oh, maybe I have to hide it. <laughs> okay, yeah. let me share my screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, the screen is blank, and today we have uh, many people. I just copy and paste. I mean, sometimes I, I mean, a lot of time I miss the name because it's very difficult to to copy and paste. You know, this is all done manually. Uh, you have to excuse me if I miss out your name, because uh, I mean scroll i mean the chat is scrolling and sometimes we cannot see your name and we are also very difficult for us to go to the facebook chat to check the names okay guys uh these are the names and we have actually uh what you call this uh five prices to be won so this is name number one oh nilayan gosh <laughs> you are so lucky you almost uh you every time you come to the what i call a giveaway you almost win every time so are you around if you're around we will declare you as a winner if not we will spin again nilayan He hasn't shown his name yet, you know. <laughs> so, guys, uh, just ping him, you know. If he... Is he around? I'm not sure whether he's around, you know. So, if he's not around, we will spin again. Calling one. Calling two. <laughs> okay, this happened because uh, I mean, some people just come in and then after that he left and all that kind of things, you know. So, guys, what to do? Should I remove his name? Okay, we have no choice. We have to remove the name. Uh, the lion, sorry. So we don't have the first winner yet. Okay, so let me check. Some of you say that your names are not there. DS Wong, right? Let me add in. Who else? The names are not there. HM Suja, I think your name is there. Definitely. I saw your name here. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we have to choose the first winner uh, by the wheel. Let's go. John Wilson. John Wilson, uh, this is the first time I see you in our Facebook Live. If you are present, uh, please write your name in the chat and we can award this uh ltd to you john wilson he might have left you know okay calling one john wilson You're not coming, I believe. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, congratulations. I saw your name. John, uh, you won the first.
first winner. You are the first winner. Congratulations. Uh, let me remove your name and spin the second winner. Okay, second winner is on the way. Mm. Ross. I, I don't know how to pronounce this name. Uh, Kerry Demo. Okay. I think you are around, if I'm not wrong. Please uh, say that you are around. Okay. Congratulations. Tough Ross. Okay. Let me remove your name and uh, we spin the third winner. Let me check, you know, some people say your names are not there. Rohit. Rohit, what time you come in, you know? I want to know. If you come in very late, then <laughs> we should not put your name, right? Okay, never mind. We just put your name there. Let's shuffle. Okay. The third winner is on the way. Larry Tan. <laughs> Larry, Larry from Singapore. Are you there? He might not be there, you know. Sometimes he leaves. Okay. Calling one. Oh, Yuhu. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me choose the fourth winner. We shuffle again. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is uh, Abhisek Anand. He's the founder of this Newton Mail and the Social Testimony. He attended our uh, Facebook Live very often. Uh, Abhisek, are you around? If you're around, we will have to award to you. If not, give other people a chance. Abhisek? <laughs> yeah, you are there. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let me write it down. Okay, guys, uh, this is the last draw and for this Facebook Live. You know, if you don't win today, you have another five chances. You can go to the Facebook uh, post comment in the official discussion thread and do some comment, mini review or whatever, you know. So that you have a chance to win again, you know, if you don't win today. Okay. So let me spin again. The last winner or the fifth winner today will go to Sabrina Mary. Sabrina is a very lucky girl. I think she won quite a number of uh, LTD here. All by draw. <laughs> okay, Sabrina, are you around? Sabrina, Sabrina, are you around? It might not be around. So guys, you want Okay, Hans. Oh, you are around. <laughs> Thank you. Sabrina Mary, you got the prize. Okay, let me remove your name and we stop sharing. 
Okay, guys, uh, congratulations. And I see Nilayan, gosh, uh, Nilayan, uh, very sorry because uh, I think you, you went out, you know, for a while. But never mind, you know, uh, winning is one thing, you know, participating is another. And I always say, you know, so you won't win today, you can win tomorrow. Good luck. And before we end, uh, I would like to say thank you to everyone who have turned up and listened, uh, you know, attentively for the last one hour and participate well. So uh, if you have any question or any doubt, you know, that have been not been answered, you know, uh, you can actually contact, uh, I mean, go to our chat group, I mean, our Facebook group to ask uh, this uh, Abel again. If not, uh, you can also, what they call, uh, contact him directly if there is something urgent. So before we go, I would like to say thank you to Abel and also his team, you know, uh, for putting up this uh, new uh, Elementor add-on. And I believe that, you know, uh, the market is actually very competitive, you know. There are more than 10 or 20 kind of uh, similar add-on in the market. But we have to test it out, you know, to be frank. A lot of people ask me, you know, Hey, why should I buy another Elemental add-on? I say, you have to test it out. I cannot tell you exactly which is better, you know, because everybody have a different uh, preference, you know. So yeah. sometimes people like this uh, feature, sometimes people like the speed, that kind of thing. So that's all I have to say. And if you are also willing to uh, test it out, you know, you can either buy it from a, a Dew Mirror or also, or maybe a Pitch Ground because now it's uh, happening in two, two places. And that's all I have to say. And Abil, uh, would you like to say something before we say goodbye? Uh, no, thanks. I actually don't want to say no, nothing more. I have said a lot uh, <laughs> when I explained. Uh, but uh, the ma more major one that uh, please try the elements if you have any, uh, if you uh, if you are interested. So I think you won't be disappointed. And is there any purchaser? He's already uh, purchased three elements we are happy to help uh, and support because as you have purchased the lifetime deal so you will get lifetime support and lifetime updates from rig elements team that means the code number team and if you want to check performance because it's an important part please check our themes on themespell.com in local press and dinoshop there's two themes currently built on rig elements and especially the dinoshop theme you can check uh, for the performance and if any issue just contact in our live chat or even create a support ticket or you can just uh you can just knock me personally from in in, in facebook or you have also a group and is a facebook group uh named code number <clears throat> code number support group so you can also knock in here so that's actually the uh that's actually i have told you before so that's from my side <laughs> <laughs> okay great 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 you know i'm happy because uh most of the time, I, I do a Facebook Live with a founder from Bangladesh. They have some issue on the internet connection, but today is perfect, you know? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. There's no issue at all. Yeah, no issue. So, thank you very much. I was much. very scared before I said you before <laughs> starting live. I was very scared. But after one hour, one hour and eight minutes, it doesn't have any issue. So it's actually awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome, awesome. Thank you, and we'll say good night and good day, good morning, everybody. You know, uh, if you are from different time zone, and thank you again, Abil, uh, for your time. So you. See you again in the other Facebook Live in other products. Yeah, definitely, you know? definitely. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.